Darwin Perennials is celebrating 15 years of perennial success here at the 2024 California Spring Trials. Oh, by the way, I'm Chris Beatty's editor-in-chief of Grower Talks Magazine. Jen Zarco, editor of Grower Talks Magazine. And Bill Calkins with Tech On Demand. And Darwin Perennials uh, has quite a few introductions in their traditional first year flowering line, which they've really focused on for 15 years, but they've delved into traditional perennials where you pot them up in June and you grow them on through the fall and bulk them up and then you overwinter them to get them that chill and then they bloom in the spring. We're gonna start with one right here. Tell us about this one, Bill. It's actually me. I'm gonna tell you about this one. Tell us about this one, Jen Z. <laughs> and Bill's gonna hold it for me because he's so nice. So this is a Saxifraga. This is, uh, Marco is the series, there are four colors. This one is Hot Rose and it's a low growing, it's got textured foliage. It's low growing, but it's also got these um, stems of flowers and buds all over. And it's covered in flowers all season. Lots of nice color, uh, and it's a zone four party. Hold this in for me, Jen Z. Sure. This one speaks early spring traditional perennials. It's a phlox, and the uh, collection is called Spring Splash. But this is not a phlox subulata. Don't be fooled, it's an interspecific hybrid that uh, is later to bloom than subulata, so it comes more in the main early spring season when your customers are there, and it's also got a long bloom window, and there are three colors, pink, lilac, and violet. And lavender, Darwin has a lot of lavender, and we know Darwin for lavender, but what they're doing is refreshing the Anouk series and this year introducing three new colors. They have a burgundy, which is like a wine red. They have this one, which is the Royal Anouk. Absolutely beautiful. It's got taller flags, darker flowers, and is a, just an excellent, excellent Spanish lavender. And they are also have one called Double Scape. So three new in the Anouk series, which is all being refreshed. And in addition to the refreshed Anooks, they have two silver leaf lavenders in a series called Lavanova. There's a frost pink, which is kind of a bubblegum color, and a frost purple. Again, Spanish lavender, the stoicus type. Chris, what do you have over there? Oh, look at this little treat here. This one is called Armeria Dream Area. Right, Jen, tell us about it. Or hold it, and I'll tell us about it. <laughs> uh, Actually, it's Armeria. Dreameria is the collection. Hypnotic Dreams is the specific one. What color is that? They called it ruby red, mm, yeah. which it really is striking. Beautiful ball-shaped flowers up on those nice stems. I think you can get seven colors in the uh, Armeria Dreameria collection. Yep, Hardy to zones 5A to 9A. Now let's take a look at some of those first year flowers that they are uh, so well known for. I think that's this way. Darwin has, at my count, 10 introductions in first year flowering perennials, and including an entire series of Agastache called Summer Long yeah, Agastache. Yeah, starts blooming early and blooms all throughout the summer. Growers and hummingbirds will love that. How many colors, Gen Z? Uh, five, five colors. Coral, lemon, lilac, magenta, and peach, and extreme uniformity across the I'm not sure if it's a series or collection, which we should call it, but you could pot these together in combo pots, either with each other or with other perennials or even annuals. And as I said, the hummingbirds oh, yeah. love and them. And it's zone seven. There you go. Now, Bill, there are nine other individual introductions to show the folks. There Take them are. along that ring of new perennials. And Darwin's introducing nine more first year flowering perennials, and they're calling them their color breakthroughs for 25. And what this is, is key color introductions to some of their most popular series, such as is Veronica Lilac, which joins the Skyward series. Veronicas are known for having this really good dense habit, very strong stems, and uh, Lilac joins blue and pink. Moving on to what I consider kind of the flagship of first year flowering perennials, Coreopsis Uptick series. And I was surprised they didn't have a gold. I don't think I realized that, but the new Uptick Gold is new color breakthrough for the upticks. Delisperma, always an awesome perennial with this neat uh, sort of succulent-like foliage. Uh, they're adding uh, violet flare to the ocean sunset collection. 
Darwin is known for their Echinacea sombrero. Mandarin Mambo joins the series that has to have like a dozen colors by now. Uh, this Mandarin Mambo is super bright, nice color. And Fuchsia Fandango, also new in the Sombrero series. If you haven't grown Sombreros from Darwin, I really only ever hear good things about it. Uh, when it comes to Budlia, the Chrysalis series, super popular one from Darwin, and they're adding Steel Blue, which joins the blue, cranberry, pink, purple, and white. Digitalis, talk about a retail stunner. This is Lemon Cream, which uh, enters the Arctic Fox series, which creates a series because I think the only color they had prior to this was Rose, which was a standalone. So now adding the Lemon Cream, I can see this becoming a series. And Jen, she can't stop touching the sedum, which is awesome. And the sedum's not gonna take a beating from all this handling because this thing is tough as nails. It won't brown out. And this is Shamrock, which joins a rather large collection of sedum from and Darwin. Because it's a zone three. Zone three hardy. Just a, a great plant, love sedum. And Chris is showing off the new vintage terracotta, which is an Achillea which joins the red, rose, violet, and white in Darwin's new vintage Achillea series. In this color, Chris Fifo said, matures gracefully to antique shades. Much like this editor. And this editor. <laughs> and this editor. Yeah, we're all of, maturing gracefully. Ish. Uh, none of us are mature. No. One thing, last thing to look at, Osvaldo, pan across. I like this display. I think this would work great in a retail garden center to highlight some of these new varieties when you happen to be bringing them into your store. Ooh, right? Good idea. Good job by Darwin. Here. Yes. All right. That is a good job by Darwin Perennials here at uh, the 2024 California Spring Trials. I like terracotta. My wife has 300 terracotta pots that would go beautifully with them. I like the terracotta warriors. You know, the ones they found oh, in underground? Japan, underground? Yeah. Underwater. God, our pants are so dumb. <laughs>